and we are seeing some very sick responses come in. You know, there is a response from Madhu Kishwar where she says spine chilling news, Sunanda Pushkar eliminated, clearly she knew too much. Now, even if you are a political opponent of Shashi Tharu, to say something like that is frankly quite disgusting. And Madhu Kishwar she said eliminated. That's what she's saying. Clearly, she knew too much. People also questioning how to suicide. Uh, there is no suicide note that's been recovered. Was she poisoned or did she consume poison? Now, those are obviously questions that will come up. Uh, Veer Sangvi and the police will have to do a thorough probe. Despite this being a very high profile case, they will need to do a thorough probe to try and establish the answers to some of these questions, sir. Yeah, I'm sure they will, but I. I, I Extremely unlikely that Shashi Tharoor hired a hitman who then uh, went off to the Leela Hotel and killed her. I think Madhu Kishwar is the one who is batty if she is even suggesting something like that. Stay with us. Uh, Kartike Sharma, a political editor, is joining us. Kartike, do we know when uh, Dr. Tharoor got to find out about this uh, information that, her, that his wife had committed suicide all through the day? Everyone was busy at the AICC. What response are you picking up from your sources in the party? How is the Congress reacting to this? We'll get Kartike back in just a moment from now. The big breaking story tonight, clearly Sunanda Pushka being found dead in a five-star hotel in Delhi. She's reportedly committed suicide. Uh, the police is now at the Leela Hotel investigating this case. Sunanda Tharoor was very worked up because of an alleged affair with Meher Tarar. A Pakistani journalist, Meher Tarar, in fact, has just put out uh, her first reaction to this story. She's been uh, very active herself on Twitter looking at this dimension. She's been following what in all the Indian channels have been doing. She watched our show. As I said, that uh, she also said that thank you for giving me uh, the opportunity. And she's just tweeted three minutes ago to say, what the hell, Sunanda? Oh my God. That's what she's, that's her first reaction. What the hell? Oh my God. I just woke up and read this. She says about 18 seconds ago. I'm absolutely shocked. This is too awful for words. So tragic. I do not know what to say. Rest in peace, Sunanda. So the, the third spoke in that wheel, Meher Tarar responding. This is a first reaction on a public platform. I woke up and read this. I'm absolutely shocked. This is too awful for words. So tragic. I don't know what to say. Rest in peace, Sunanda. Her first response is, what the hell, Sunanda? Oh my God. And uh, Atir Khan is joining us. He tracks the Delhi police very closely. Atir Khan, what are your sources in the police saying? What information do they have about this case, sir? Well, uh, Rahul, we now have an official confirmation about her death. Uh, well, she had checked in the hotel yesterday sometime. And uh, today, when she did not open her door, uh, despite attempts of room service and some uh, other people who had uh, tried to visit her, uh, they had to break open the door and her body was discovered. Now, what we know is that uh, the forensic experts from the Delhi Police uh, uh, forensic team have reached the spot. The area has been cordoned off. Uh, they are trying to ascertain whether it's a case of poisoning, uh, is it a suicide, uh, which they are uh, more or less, um, uh, you know, sure that it, it, it could be a case of suicide, but uh, they are uh, not ruling out any foul play at the moment. But what we know is that uh, uh, the body has been discovered and it, uh, her body was discovered after uh, the attempts which were made to open the door and she did not open the door. Do we know what time her body was recovered uh, from the hotel? Did she not speak to anybody at all? Because I know that she tried to get in touch with me uh, past midnight when she was watching Meher Tarar speak on our show last evening. Uh, she, and she was up through the night because she was tweeting away at least till 4 a.m. in the morning. Was she uh, not in touch with anybody in the hotel all through the day today? Well, uh, uh, so far that seems to be the case, Rahul, as uh, we know that uh, she had checked in uh, uh, all of a sudden yesterday. And uh, as you say, uh, she was tweeting all night. Uh, there was also some sort of patch up, but then we know that suddenly something went wrong. That's what the police is trying to ascertain as to what was the immediate provocation, uh, which uh, uh, made her, uh, you know, forced her to take this drastic step. But uh, really what we are trying to ascertain is that how is it that she committed suicide? Was it something poisonous she had consumed? Or uh, because apparently there are no uh, marks as such. Uh, so it seems to be a case where she has consumed something which has led to her death. Stay with us, Atir. I just want to play out an excerpt. 
uh, from the from the interview that we did on center stage last night which we know from her responses on Twitter and her SMS is to me that Sunanda Tharoor watched she was upset about that uh, let's just play out what Meher Tarar the Pakistani journalist told uh, sent, told us on center stage last evening and then we'll come back and get you some more responses I was as taken aback as anybody anybody and everybody else when I saw that tweet I actually thought I was hallucinating I thought maybe I was dreaming or something when I looked at that tweet but then looking at the way those tweets were worked I realized that those were not Shashita Roots words because that's not the way he writes so and, and a while later he did come on Twitter and say that he did not tweet those things so, okay, what, what is the question? What is there, what exactly is... No, because clearly exactly Sunanda at some level, Meher, feels that there is a relationship between you oh, yeah, and okay, Shashi. Okay, and she's okay, saying okay, that she's okay, charging okay. you with trying to break their marriage. That's what she's okay, essentially saying. I, one, I want to understand, I, I have questions for her. Yes. If I'm, if I'm, apparently I'm supposed to be stalking her husband all the way from Pakistan. How does one stalk anybody on the phone? I don't even know that. And if I'm stalking him on the phone, how is that? How am I messing, messing his marriage up? That is, that is my second question. One, am I a stalker? Two, I live in Pakistan. So how am I messing his marriage up all the way from Pakistan if all I'm doing is stalking him? Three, I want to ask her, on, and I have asked her this question on each and every channel who has called me or other or or publications. Uh, on what basis has she called me an ISI, uh, yeah, ISI spy or ISI agent or something? Does she even realize how how reckless this statement is and what this can do to my life, even if I'm living in Pakistan and what it can do to my family to be, to be, called, to be called an ISI spy? She goes on a TV channel and she opens her mouth and she says, I'm an ISI spy. How? What have I done in India that would say to anybody that I'm an ISI spy? I've been to India twice. I, the first time was to interview Dr. Tharoor and the second time was to conduct another interview. I have never met her. I have never spoken to her. I've got nothing to do with her. The only interaction I've ever had with her husband is what I've always tweeted about. I've written to him, I've spoken to him, but every time, each and every time that I've spoken to him has been about his books, about, about politics in Pakistan and India. About, uh, about my articles, about what he had written. That's the only kind of interaction we've ever, ever had with one another. And even that came to an end months ago. And all of a sudden, out of the blue, first on December 25th, you call me an ISI, ISI agent, just because I'm a Pakistani in, in India. I was visiting India and I was in India. She decided to call me an ISI agent. She called me a liar. She called me all kinds of things. And now, today, I find out that, you know, she's how closely do you know Dr. Tharoor uh, Meher? Jitna, uh, Jitna, the extent of my, my knowledge of him is exactly what I've just told you. I respect him a great deal. I've always talked about it. I, he's one of the nicest, nicest politicians. Nice, uh, okay, he's the kind of politician I would want everybody to be. He's a fabulous writer and I always believe his books never got the, the due recognition. I started reading his books because I... I was planning to write a book on the on the election in India, so I, I could get a visa for that long. But then, uh, and since he was the only politician I knew, yeah, I asked him if I could cover his election, and he said yes. And I spoke to Penguin India about it. I have emails to show for that. I wrote to them in in May, no, April. Do you think Sunanda felt the way that she did? Have you had any opportunity to reflect on that? Given the very public nature of her outburst, she was very clearly threatened uh, by your interactions with Shashi for her to take to Twitter in the way that she did. No, but that's that's the whole thing. First, she first she accused me of having an affair with him, and then she accused me of stalking him. So I have asked her on Twitter, "What is it that I've been trying to do here?" First, she has to tell me because both things have a very different connotation. Both both of them portray me in very different lights. If I'm having an affair, or whether whether I'm stalking him. First, she has to them. The, the point is, I live in Pakistan. I live in Pakistan. I, I'm a Pakistani Muslim woman who, who lives in Pakistan. He's an Indian Hindu married politician. Isko milne ke liye bhi, I would need a visa. Why would I have anything to do with a man I can't even meet? It's not that you know he lives across town and I can just drive, drive over to meet him. 
and why would i why would i have anything to do with the man who i can't acknowledge publicly anyway i mean he is so high profile and he's in the news all the time and he is with his wife all the time and the what time do i have to stalk him what do you know to do to do anything with him that i can't talk about?